E-Home versus Evil Geniuses. Doing pretty okay, but Ice 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 making his move forward. He's got that whirling death. One more hit it's should do be it. Close. There it is. First blood for Fenrir. Fear. He's playing the aggressive role with Zai. Trying to put some pressure on that Ice 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 Timber saw with that pure spin that Axe is able to put out, but overstays his. Zai's getting a little bit low. Is he going to be caught as well? They're actually going to battle it out here. Slowed down by the boar. Has another poison. It's up the three stacks, but doesn't look like it's going to be enough. A second kill going the way of E-Home, and old 11 just keeps on trucking. Now, what about this Axe versus Timbersaw matchup? Surely this matchup is supposed to go in a way where Axe puts uh, a lot of pressure on Timbersaw early, but he already gave up that early kill, and I don't think it's going to go well for uh, here. Oh, he took so much. Oh, my God. That Whirling Death, and now the slowly taken away, the Shadow Word will finish him off. A third kill for E-Home. What? He had like 450 HP. Ice, ice, ice. Pushing out top as Eho make the full rotation around. No, the TP in universe. He's going to show himself, thinking it's going to be okay. Oh, he's not going to like this one. Damage, but Old Eleven shows himself with the smoke. And now we'll get the Primal Roar onto universe. The save from Zai. Disruption, a momentary respite, but it's not enough. Ice, ice, ice. With the first damage comes through. And they get a big, big kill on universe's Faceless Void, who was supposed to be farming away in that safe lane and getting great CS. And now has to take a step backwards and network. Yeah, we talked about how he wanted to rotate off the lane to try to get PPD that fast level 6, but Radiant instead e -home are well prepared for it as they want to make a move for oh, Zai. Zai. Gang going to be caught, and Fear may die too. Oh, they He's actually might go down here. Away. They take so much damage from that Whirling Death. Samael coming in with some reinforcements, but they've already lost the Tier 1 tower and no opportunity for revenge. PPD at bottom. Fear is going to show himself as the old Lottom. He comes in, tries to interrupt the pull, but it's going to be caught. One spin already up. Stun goes down, but he's caught. Ends up getting cold feet to the spot. And finally, evil geniuses get themselves on the board seven and a half minutes in. They're already planning some retribution. They've got old 11 and Lottom. We talked about this rotation. Jungle. Here comes Fear. They're going to be able to catch him with a primal roar. Lottom starts beating onto him. Fear trying to get the coal off, but not in time. Ice, ice, ice. Cuts him down to size with another Whirling Death. Now up at the top lane. Fenrir going to be next up. Samael, point blank arrow, lands that one, has the Star Storm ready to go. So Fenrir jukes it in the trees, tries to go for the TP out. A prayer. Samael hunts him down inside those trees. Maybe. Now they're bringing heroes over. This right, might be too late, though. Axe is going to be Primal Roar. The disruption will buy him some time. He'll come out, but now the Warlock Golem has dropped down. And Fear, he's not that tanky. Already down to half HP. Can't quite get old 11. The Ice Blast, not going to land either. The Chronosphere will secure the kill, but all that for one kill is oh, not going to be good Ice, enough. Ice, Ice, Ice. Ice, Ice, in the back line, going straight for PPD. He wants this free kill to support, and he'll have it, too. Also, Universe goes down. Zai's going to be up next. He's trapped between two E-Home heroes. Oh, he's dodging so Makes far. His dodge on the chalk but surely not going to make it out. You can't dodge a fire blast from Lottom. Snail going to be dove all the way behind the tier 2 tower. He's got Snail. no angle. He reads it now. Tries to get the leap away, but immediately caught by the primal roar. Beaten down by Eho. He fear. He tries to go in for the response. Gets the call. Brings old 11 back into the ice blast. He's controlled up by Eho. Oh, they're and just straight up pushing. Oh, a little bit too far there from old chicken. Going to be pulled back in. Doesn't nail the ice blast, though. Old chicken will eventually go down. That's the Aegis, though. He's going to come back up. They've got right Chrono outside. available. Tier 3 tower with the Chronos here. He's going to be able to lock him back in the moment he shows up. Now the Warlord. Drops the golem onto PPD and some mail, but already the juggernaut's down. Response from Eho, but now the, the call. call! There! He stops it right in the tracks! They're gonna be able to take down two! And a third falls from Eho! Evil geniuses, they see their moment now! They've gotta get as many of these kills as possible to make the response from Fear well worth it. Samael chasing down Spinrear. He has a home. Ice 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 is responding with some damage, but he managed to get the Warlock. Samael goes for the fifth remaining hero of Eho, throws up the arrow. The hope being that Samael, he took a small risk pushing out that top lane, but as it approaches the tier two, Hopefully someone from Ehome will show, and this smoke rotation oh, This could be huge. Ehome e are split up. They're going to be able to get the Chronosphere, but no, they'll blink away. Old Eleven escapes, and it's going to be Lonham caught instead, but they already got Old Chicken cut down by Fear. They're still going to chase down Lonham as well. They managed to get him to bash up just before the Fire Blast. Two down as Ehome are caught with their pants down. Rotation up from Ice 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 meant that he wasn't there with the team. And while that may have been a fantastic escape, a jump forward. Oh, Samael he gets him. He gets the arrow on the Fenrir behind the tier two. And evil geniuses once 
corralled inside their base with nowhere to go, nowhere to farm. They are now being the ones pushing into a tier two of E-Hall. Sumail has just been unbelievable for EG. Shades of that TI five run that they made. They need him to be a star player and he's delivering so far. 10 and one as EG now on the offensive, despite the fact that at one point they were almost down 10K. Now they're making their move forward. They sense weakness in E-Home's lineup. And the Illusion Army advances. Zai uses his Shadow Demon with a disruption to create even more illusions of Universe's Faceless Void. Oh, the oh, jump they get the call! Oh my god, with the Ice Five! Ice Ice Ice! And all the weapon! They're almost gone! Yul Scepter and Ice 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 finds himself a moment, but he's still down! He gets the kill on Fear as a rebuttal, but Ehom, they now have to buy back and try and chase down the Heroes of Evil Geniuses. Looks like they may have caught some ale. Old Eleven slowing him down. Pop they are the throwing down so much for this. Roar. They use the Chaotic Offering from Warlock as well. They did manage to get the kill. Looks like they may be able to get Universe as well. He's got the gem too. He snatched that one away from Old Lanham, but now he has to cut his way through the trees, hoping beyond hope. He will be forced to defend. Now the initiation comes in. Fear going to be able to find Lottom with the Ice Blast in the call. They've got him. But Ehome, they'll have the opportunity to respond. BKB now activated off the slash There's battle. There's the Chaotic Offering. Nice, managed to get PVD. The Chaotic Offering drop, but the Chronosphere controls the both because Golems, as well as Old Eleven, he'll be torn apart as Universe gets one, looks for two. Chicken's Old getting Chicken. low. He's getting low, but BKB, and now the spin. He pops out. Universe, he backs away, waiting for his reinitiation. Samael saves himself with the Ethereal Blade for a moment, but the Purge goes down. Now leaps himself into the trees and will be able to TP oh, Zai's out. juking right now. Zai trying to put his... Oh, he's getting Oh, away right dice, now. Dice, dice. No, he gets him eventually. And now he's just going to keep mantaing and sending him forward as Fear goes for it. Oh, from Fear, they actually go for the Fury Blade. Dag and Pop, Old Chicken, somehow still alive. It's going to be perched up, slowed down, but he gets a blink away. And now the Chaotic Offering. A disruption buys Universe High, but no. Fear eventually will go down. The Tier 3 is now being assaulted by the Double Golems. Does have that buyback available, and he was going for the play where they can just pop Old Chicken's Aegis and then use the Chrono as the follow-up, but EG repelled back, and the they margin for victory in that fight first. was so close. Oh no, now be another initiation, Ancient Apparition, another disruption save, the Chronosphere goes down, Ice Blast over the top, there's just not quite enough damage to kill anybody significant, they only get Lottom in the back lines, Old Chicken dealing with fear, he popped the Blade Mail on the BKB and is fighting up against Ice Ice Ice, and dang it comes in, they take away the Aegis of the Juggernaut, but round two, Evil Geniuses now have to deal with a full HP Juggernaut, disruption, arrow goes down, but the spin was up, Old Chicken, he retreats as Fenrir covers his tracks with the upheaval. Now the call on Ice 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 almost gets PPD, but a four staff save actually gets PPD away. Old Chicken blinks forward, goes for Zai. The Invis might be able to save him. Theory of the Chicken low enough, and the Dagon moves him off. Ice 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 left inside the fountain with nobody to be able to save him. He's going to drop right there. They're going to the three towers. E home on the retreat as Evil Genius is hold against an Aegis and Cheese. And this Sumail Dagon is doing so much work for them. Home. They desperately need some counter vision down because again, Universe is going to find his opportunity. He gets the Silver Edge, runs into Old Eleven. He deems this worthy of a Chronosphere Ice Blast combo to take him down. Right hand side, Samael is going to be caught. Meanwhile, the Secret Shop, we've got a brawl. Oh, they get Fear. Old Chicken. He's, He's getting feet down right now. Old Chicken dropping down to half HP, but Omni Slash solely on Fear will be able to take him down. Looks like with Lonham's help, they also get the Shattered Demon. Now the Healing Ward heals him back up a little bit more. The magic damage comes in. Old Chicken spins off the damage from Samael. He's now caught by the Primal Roar, surrounded by Golems. And he's down, four dead from Evil Geniuses. Now they're gonna simply say, all right, we have to be able to win this fight. <laughs> the double chaotic offering, but Universe looks like he wants to make an aggressive play forward. Moonlight Shadow, they're actually gonna disruption. Oh, fear. Oh, he Misses doesn't get it this time. He could be punished here. Not quite, Ehome, not dropping anything just yet. Fenrir sitting way in the back. He wants to make sure he's not caught by that Chronosphere. He knows how important that Chaotic Offering double drop is going to be. Fear trying again with the call. Not able to snag Old Chicken, keeping his distance. Now the Scythe of Ice, it comes forward out of Universe. The Primal Roar follow up the Chaotic Offering. They're dropping everything they have, but Universe hasn't dropped just yet. He gets the Time Walk away. One Chaotic Offering used, and Melee Rax will fall. If they've claimed Universe, though, it could have been so much sweeter. Now EG had the opportunity to respond. Jump forward from Old Chicken, threatening PPD. Now Universe, he sees the opportunity. He's got a Chronosphere. Worth he locked the out Old damage. Chicken. They've got the damage to be able to blow up on him. Second Chaotic Offering, though, interrupted. Call. 
fear. He's going on the ice, ice, ice. The BKB activated. They want to be able to lock down Universe. The side device buys them a little bit of time. A bash up, time walk, and Universe. Again, back to the fountain. But Ehom still control the base. They're going to go for the tier three tower. The Golem speeding it down to half HP. The arrow comes out. A clean whiff as Ehom dance away. Golem's being dealt with now, and now a retreat. Oh, no, oh, Theory of Blade and a Tagging pulls him up. Now Ice 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 is going to be able to caught by oh, the Oh, they've got him. Old Chicken comes back with life number two, but he's already find Ice 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 in the dirt. PPD, oh, not again. He may really be the far first out. initiated on. They take the Primal Roar, will go for it, but the Ice Ice and the disruption. Now the Chronosphere in response. PPD, one. he still survives. He's got the Ghost Scepter, and he may be able to lay out an Ice Blast. Double Chaotic Offering being dropped on Universe's head, as well as Samael. Samael almost being beaten to a pulp by those golems, will be able to leap himself away. Universe being kited. A Timber's Chaw will be able to Timber Chain himself backwards. Golems will approach the Radiant base here. Evil Genius is going to have to defend against them. Fear actually calling them up and drops a lot of HP. A jump forward there from Universe, poking at Ehome. And again, Samael's going to come forward. Oh, he's getting back. back. Oh, no. He just it down. 100 seconds of buyback ready. Ehome, they sense weakness, though. They're going to force that one. The Samael buyback now going to go for it, but Sai. He's being gone on by Old Ticket, but did Old Ticket just overextend himself? He's going to be burned up, called up, slowed down. Ice Blast, he's gone. 100 seconds for him as well. Ehom on the retreat. A very small amount of damage. EG, they know this illusion game well, and that's why they're going to push out. Five-man smoke straight into Ice Ice Ice. They're going oh, to the catch him. Fear's going to be able to get the call. The Ice Blast and the burst damage is coming. Ice 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 dead. And BKB activated. Now oh, there's the Chrono. Universe, he's locked down three. Now they stop the TP and Will as well. Ice Ice Ice, he's not going to be here for this fight. Chaotic Offering being dropped down immediately. BKB being activated by the Juggernaut. The disruption, it buys the universe a pins of time, but now eventually he goes down. The Chaotic Offering, number two, being dropped on Fear. They take him out of the left-hand side. Old 11, he gets hit by an Ethereal Blade. Dagon as well, still not enough. Star Storm, they get him. Finally, Aegis down. Oh my god, they've got Old Chicken as well. He has the buyback, though. And here comes the second life of Old 11. He doesn't have a buyback just yet. Now now, Ice Ice Ice. Everybody He's coming back here. in for me. Now, another buyback with the booster travel level two. They're going on the universe. He's dead. Two minutes on the clock. Even Samil, so they low. need to escape with Samil. He can't make it go. Down for two minutes. He's forced into a buyback as well. But it's a four versus five. And Fear, he's not even inside the base. He doesn't have boots to travel for another 10 seconds. He can't get home just yet. And they desperately need him for this hold. Everybody. He Buying back to try to make this a fight. Ehome, both their supports still have it available. They can still buy boots of travels. And now they're going to start their siege up at top. Here behind them, though, doesn't have that buyback available. He's got the Shadow Blade. He's looking for the. Oh, he's going to get spotted. He managed to get two, but already Lonim has jumped forward. And now that initiation from Fear is all for naught. Samael's in the middle of three heroes, but cannot put enough magic damage to push them back. Two heroes down from Evil Geniuses. And at three versus five commences as Lonim buys his way back into this game. EG going to need a miracle healer. Sumail still has a lot of damage on his side, but Ehome just marching down. And EG might just not have the bodies to do this. The Ice Blast is up, now the jump forward. Old Chicken, he goes for side. Hoping he'll be able to stop that pesky disruption, but Force Staff gives him space. Daggins, oh, no, he goes down! Daggins. Triple Daggins! They take down Old Chicken! The Beastmaster's dead! Old Chicken still alive, though. Juggernaut is good to go. He's gonna be able to take that melee racks. Range racks up next, melee. Already down, Ice Blast coming in. Hit this range rack, that's gonna be Megas, and they just kill PPD. Evil Nobody is. has buyback anymore except this Warlock. Ehome going to be incredibly satisfied, but they want to keep pushing forward. They know that this Void and this Axe can't help out. If they can catch the mail or PPD, there's going to be another hero with no buyback. The disruption save from Zai. Can they get PPD out? He gets a force staff away, but no! The extra damage comes out from the Warlock as the Fatal Bonds eliminates him. But Zai, Zai, Zai! He almost dies. They're there to play the Dragon! Zai gets him! They hold! Mega creeps incoming, but Evil Geniuses will stand strong for now against the home. Eight buybacks were used in that fight. Nine buybacks were used in that fight. The only person with it available is this Warlock, but if he gets his abilities off, it doesn't really matter to EG, and that's exactly what they're going for. One last hurrah as they march down this mid lane. The rest of the heroes will meet them there with their boots of travels, and EG, can they do it? Any pick off on a core might enable them to still win this game. The boots of travels start coming in from Evil Geniuses. The heroes swarming into mid lane. 
already leading the play. Universe, he's got the Moonlight Shadow, he's got the Invis. They reveal themselves on the creeps as they push down yet another wave. They still have a tier two up in the bottom lane, so they can't even even things out. Here's gonna come in to with the healing cell. They're all in for this right now. Eight more seconds for Ice Ice Ice. They start going for those tier fours. Chipping away, a glyph is up. Now the Dagons start coming in as Ice 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 revives. He's EG, what are they looking he's for? The initiation comes out on a fear. Refresher activated by Old Eleven. Not going to get the chance for a second primal roar. He's going to get blown up inside the chronosphere. He's down and out. Evil Genius is still five up. But here comes Ed on these slash. Bouncing around with the Shattered Demon. Hoping to be able to go on his eye. But an arrow! Oh my god! The male just nailed him, but he still managed to get himself away in the back lights. The Universe. spaceless void though in the back. He's going to He's now going to go for Old Chicken. He may be activated. And now he's going to run himself away. Universe says these back lights. Ice, 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 EG oh, might be able to do this! Evil Genius is their holding! Oh my god, he hopes! They know! They Old know Chicken going for the all the play of He's back at the side of the Radiant Space! He's already taken down one of the Tier 4s! And he's trying to get PPD, but Evil Genius is cool, calm, and collected. They're holding the defense here again. If they kill Old Chicken here, he'll be able to get up the ice no! He hopes! Five down! One buyback, and that's only the Warlock! It's only Mega Creeps and Warlock who could defend this! Evil geniuses, have they just done it? That was a hold of a lifetime. EG, this team just does not quit. They're gonna go down this mid lane. They're gonna start with the illusions on Universe. This army by himself gonna be able to do it and this ax in 30 short, short seconds gonna be able to respawn. Ehome gonna have to hold for 90 seconds without this jug. They're starting to make their way down. Evil Are they geniuses. actually gonna be able to do this? They're halfway through. They've crossed over the river. They're about to go high ground, but Beastmaster and Warlock are about to come back. Evil geniuses. They can't end this game yet. They're gonna try though. They're gonna try for it. The boots of travel and a divine rapier. The all in play. universe. They know this is the end game scenario. 60 seconds without this jug. E home. Can they hold EG? Confident they can't. Mirrors coming up as well. The tier four is being beaten on. It begins the jump four. Samael already going on a fan rear. No chaotic offering. An ice blast. The dragon first. He'll take him out. E home. Fan rear buys back into tier four. Oh, the throne's going down. down. The throne down to half HP. E safely say I've never seen something like that. EG held out for so long, no buybacks available, but with three heroes and all Dagons, they managed to hold their base. So resilient throughout this entire game, 20k lead at one point for e -Home. Even Mega Creeps weren't able to do it, and they're gonna walk away with game number one. Hard fought victory for them. Relief, pure joy. So many emotions on the Evil Geniuses players' faces. The crowd is going absolutely insane. And the series, it's not over. This is just game number one of EG and E Home. I can, I've never seen a game played out like that. Unbelievable. This is Timbersaw healing him up and trying to keep him within experience range and the occasional CS, but otherwise, looks like this may not be a lane they can actually compete against. You're going to see the disruption go down, and Ice 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 starts to make the right side. They almost finish him up. The neutrals attempted to go for the deny. Not able to get it, though. PPD lands the last hit and claims first blood. Oh, the top lane. Chronosphere goes down. They're going to be able to get Lanham rather easily. He doesn't have a rollout. Back over to Fear. The smoke pops. Old Eleven blinks forward. Oh, no! He went for the blind call, but Fear's position on the high ground allows him to elude that gank. And Ehome will walk away with the first Blink Dagger initiation with nothing but a Black Dragon kill. And they may even still lose something. Oh, they're getting here. sandwiched right now. They really are. Some ale on one side, PPD on the other. They go for the call, but instantly disruption comes out. Can he dodge the, the arrow? Snakes, the double silence. Ice 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 is here with the help, but the Chakram's not going to be enough to push back EG. They now jump forward. A call, another one onto Universe. Doesn't have a Chronosphere to be able to slow down these two very tanky cores. Genius is pretty quick on the retreat here, but the ward is currently spotting outside. But Zai. 
He's tanked. Not the target you want to go for right now. Ehome have committed so much for this. Ehome won so much more. Now Samael's going to show himself and he's going to go the angle in case. He's going to be called cave first. But now that one is going to go on to three. Universe setting this whole thing up. He's going to start going on to Fenrir, hoping to be able to drop that chaotic offering. They will be able to get it off onto Samael, but Fenrir is going to give up his life for it. Now the roll in. Lottam getting so much damage out from his ultimate. He's going to try and escape as well, but he gets stunned up. Now right click down, but Samael is executed. A sweep in almost catches Universe as well, but a time walk will be able to undo that damage. Ice, ice, ice. He's trying He's to dip a little make bit his low. way to the other side of the fountain. Will be able to get there. So that they can constantly keep up an arm. Samael feeling confident, but he jumps over the river. Now going to be caught by Old Eleven. He has the uh, extra blade mail. The damage comes in. They're going to be able to drop the Veronica. Oh, they might have the damage for this. Samael, he's dropping lower and lower, but it's not good enough. The Chronosphere now comes into play. And Old Chicken going to be beaten on by Universe. He'll end up falling, but in the background, Ice, Ice, Ice. He cleans up the Medusa. He's going to search for more, but he watches Lanham die. And Ehome, who's going to deal the high ground damage for their lineup? As Zai, is gonna he pop. just... Zai around the trees. Will be a loop-de-loop, -loop, but not going to make the escape. Ob11 catches him out, gets the call, and Ice 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 will claim another Bloodstone charge. This is what we talked about. EG, they're trying to avoid these fights in Ehome, trying they to just look for these pickups. But Ob11 not able to get the initiation now. The Chaotic Offering going down. Evil Geniuses are going to be forced back to Chronosphere onto Ob11 as well. The Fear on the side. Ehome can do nothing but watch as their ally falls and their Chaotic Offering, Warlock Golem, is laid down. They just have to get out right now. Ehome trying to look for whatever engagement they can. They know there's oh, no stand game. Nice kick, actually landing on a PPD. Samael turns and fights the best he can, but there's no big ultimates. Old Chicken They're trying to the TP out, not going to be able to make it away. The damage is too much for him to handle. Ice, 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 he's next. He's got the Timber Chain to be able to get some distance, but Universe will keep pace. He needs a longer jump. And it's get the bash. Ice, 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 he's time dilated up, unable to get a Timber Chain for quite some time. He's just going to be slowly pecked away by these range heroes. Not able to make it out. He needed 15 seconds for a Bloodstone Suicide. Couldn't even get that. And that is four heroes down now on the side of Ehome. EG going to take a lot of this real estate on the map. Old Eleven still wants to be able to fight. Oh, they're going to find him. No, Universe is going to be able to run into him. Old Eleven not able to get the initiation. Now the disruption goes down. Stopping the golems. And they will be able to get the Chronosphere as well. They want to make sure there's no answer from Venrir at all here. The Universe, he gets it. No, the Chaotic Offering. It goes down. The last half second. Can this turn the fight? But him. He dies a secondary time here. And Ice Ice Ice, time to left. get low. He can't get any damage out whatsoever. Old Eleven, he's actually ineffective, unable to catch up Universe, and it looks like he's just gonna have to watch Ice 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 die. Maybe not. He gets a call with the blade mailed out. We'll be able to save his ally, but it cost him his life. Maybe at the cost of Old Chicken, he does get the kill. He managed to take out Fear, but now has to run himself away. Two more seconds till the call is up, and no! A time dilation. Ice Ice Ice, he rolls on through, but Samael, he's still tanky. Ice Ice Ice, oh, he doesn't get the chain. No, he didn't get the timber chain he wanted. He has another one, though. Chalk him. Lances, Timber Shade will be able to get him. Universe, he's low. And Ice, 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 he thinks he can win this fight. That's why Universe blinks himself away. TP's out. They're trying to find a fight on the side of Ehome's base. And oh, the Chronosphere. Immediately, Universe jumps in. The counter initiation from Old Eleven will be able to solve up some of the damage, but they've already lost their Warlock. No Chaotic Offering today. Old Eleven, he's trying to shout the damage to Samael, but now he's caught inside the Stone Gaze. The Moonlight Shadow buys him a little bit of time, but eventually he will end up going down. And now it's all E-Home players falling as they're going to be chased down by Universe. He gets the bash. Lonham not going to be able to make the escape. Five more seconds for a rolling boulder. No chance. Ice, 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 the lone survivor here of E-Home as evil geniuses find the perfect initiation. Universe gets the Chronosphere to win the fight. This time it's E-Home's chance and an impossible hold of high ground. Without some of their big ultimates. Old Chicken going to start trying to lay out the damage, but they can't delay for long. They take these Here, buildings so fast. Dead. A double stun and a double silence, but they managed to get the Chronosphere locking in three. Bottom and Fenrir again, the support's down, leaving Ice 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 alone, and that's it! GG is the call from Ehome as game two is cut short. Evil geniuses executing very cleanly here in game number two and proving that game one was not a fluke. It just looked like Ehome ran out of steam. In the second game, they made moves that I've never seen them make. It felt like they were desperate. It felt like they were playing on the back foot, even at 15 minutes. They were just telling themselves, go, go, go. And eventually, EG just kind of withstood it. They played behind their Medusa. They recognized the strength of their Shadow Demon. Really well played by them. And while game two 
rather one-sided as Evil Geniuses cut it down at 38 minutes. Let's not forget game number one of this series featured probably the best Dota and the hypest match that we've seen all year long. Ehome, they may not have been able to come back in this series, but they certainly proved themselves capable of being able to take at least a game off of EG. 2-0, Evil Geniuses now securing themselves at least $2 million in top three here at the International.